The trend in the mouse market that gains the most attention is weight, and is a specification that can easily be put into marketing. What matters more but isn't as attractive is the shape of the mouse. The shape is what makes the G303 Shroud Edition controversial and a 50-50 chance of being an upgrade or a downgrade. While the shape makes some compromises in gaming, I also use this specialized FPS gaming mouse in productivity tasks. Oddly, it does better than a regular mouse in productivity. Or if you just want it for the shroud name and look, it can just be a weirdly aesthetically shaped regular mouse for specific people. Out of the box, you get the mouse a horrible stock cable to connect while gaming if you run out of battery, but long enough to snake the cable with the USB-C to USB-A adapter and the receiver closer to the mouse. The mouse itself is specified to weigh at 75 grams, but my copy lands at 73 grams, probably due to the soft material slowly shaving away. I say that because despite my copy only being a year old, is exhibiting a lot of shine where I grip and press on the mouse. I don't think it will affect the rigidity or performance in the span of 5 years, but is almost as apparent as my 5 year old mouse from the same company. What makes the G303 relatively special and a 50-50 chance of being an upgrade or a downgrade is the shape. Unlike popular competitive mice, it is a convex ambidextrous mouse, aka it's wide, but that's only from the top down. The grip tapers into the mouse aggressively, which helps create a stable and consistent base with help from the sharp but noticeable corner to the grip, allowing me to place my thumb consistently in a similar position. Same goes for the right hand side with the pinky and ring finger. The middle hump is further back from the midsection enabling me to tuck the mouse into the base of my palm, lifting the palm from the desk, while lowering the position of the mouse buttons for a more relaxed claw grip, which is where the G303 Shroud is the most comfortable, sacrificing both palm and fingertip grip. Palming the mouse results in uneven weight distribution where resting the palm on the palm rest lifts the front of the mouse. And in trying fingertip grip, the sharp convex shape feels like it's pushing harshly onto my fingers, with my pointer and middle fingers barely landing on the left and right mouse buttons. One odd compromise seems to have been done for aesthetic reasons, where the mouse button cutouts line up perfectly with the side button cutouts, but it doesn't match the curvature of the grip. This feels to me like a design flaw because it increases the chances of a misclick of the side buttons, where in Apex I would go for a throwable but end up with a melee strike. I have to strain my thumb forward to reach the forward side button. It could be my grip and you might not have the same experience, but it is something you should note. How does the G303 feel in general? The main mouse buttons don't feel too heavy while maintaining its responsiveness. The scroll wheel has a light scroll with soft, large tactile bumps, while the side buttons are a little too mushy for my tastes, with more post travel than I'd like, but it does feel quick and responsive. I mentioned earlier using the G303 in productivity tasks was an improvement, but it has nothing to do with the shape of the mouse. Unlike most productivity focused mice, there is a distinct lack of side buttons, but what it does have is an outstanding battery life at 145 hours. Taking about two weeks of using it 10 hours every day to go into a low battery state. And the underrated part is Logitech G-Hub software. But you would think that's a gaming software. Yes, and has automatic per application profile switching, allowing you to create custom shortcuts even with the limited amount of buttons. Here's the catch. While G-Hub detects games automatically and creates profiles for each game, you will have to add productivity applications like Word or editing software manually. Word? What shortcuts would you put on Word? What I personally do is set the side buttons to undo and redo. Control Z for undo and Control Y for redo. And why would I do that? It's because sometimes I tap undo a few too many times. And if you haven't already noticed, it's much harder to press Control Y than Control Z. And in editing, for example, I use the side buttons to trim forward or backwards a video. And the DPI button set to play times two speed. Also, if you travel a lot for work, there is a storage compartment for the USB receiver. That's neat, but how does it actually perform in-game? Because of the consistent grip, my aim is consistently mediocre. It's not that bad, trust me. And if you're a casual competitive player like me, this mouse is only just better than a regular mouse. But if you're looking to improve your aim, the G303 Shroud Edition can actually help. Again, because of its shape. Not because it can make you aim better, but it makes your grip terribly obvious. Simply being farther back or farther forwards can create an uncomfortable feeling, with the sharp corners of the grip acting as easy landmarks that you can feel. Since the shape is tailored for a more relaxed claw grip, it also helps relax your grip. And forcibly gripping the mouse calls more attention to the 
the fact that you're forcefully gripping it. Again, because of the sharp corners. Because the G303 promotes a consistent grip, it allows you to easily set a baseline of performance. All you have to do is note what that baseline is and then set goals on what you would like to improve. The G303 Shroud Edition to me is a specialized relaxed claw grip mouse, tailored for those looking for a stable and more consistent aiming experience, while providing a small upgrade with software for productivity tasks, given a little bit of customization. But there are mice that actually provide an upgrade in both gaming and productivity that you can check out in this video. Make sure to subscribe for more content on tech and their ability in both productivity and gaming. I'm your host, Naka. Have a nice one. Only took me a couple of days to adjust to the mouse, but I'm still waiting for my G900 upgrade.